<laughs> it's bad. Yes. yes. But the question I think most people are interested in is, if I leave clothes or a bit far away from it, am I exposed? You are not it? exposed. Am I exposed to the dangers that the next generation, my kid will be extremely, uh, what they call Dwarfed it? Uh, or yes. something. Something dangerous will happen to my child. Okay. Or we are going to have a defect in our family for good. Those are the legitimate questions, questions. that people are interested in. We have a nuclear research reactor that may have the same effect if that's what we are seeing. I've worked in the nuclear facility for 12 years, going to my 13th year now. Oh, okay. I've, I've known people, um, Professor Kaho Dems, who have worked, Professor Emeritus Sakaro, my apologies, who have worked in the nuclear industry for God knows how long. They are fine, they have children. Their children, children have children. I mean, they may be lucky. They may be, but so it's not just one in a lot. So you mm. talk about okay. a whole lot of people who mm. have gone through the nuclear power or nuclear research station, they have retired. And their children are even working within the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. Most people in this country don't even know we have a nuclear research reactor in this country. Most people oh, I don't see. know. We have a research reactor that has been operating for 30 years. And with no incident. Atomic? Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. Oh, one more reason I should not be using that road. <laughs> I mean, perhaps, perhaps that would be safer, right? But, so, but it's not blown up before. That's the point. It's, you see, that's, that's where we need, to go, we need to get to. No nuclear power plant will blow up. No? No nuclear power plant will blow up. Never? Never will blow up.